Alright guys, today is the day, today is the day. What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we are getting a very, very late start. It's oh, oh it's after eight o'clock actually, wow. So we are doing a night vlog here, but today we are finally installing my Fortune Auto coilovers, as well as these front and rear iBox sway bars. But before we get started, we gotta move the Evo out of the way and move the Integra out of the way. But I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek at how the Evo is doing. Oh. Ooh, we're getting close, John. Yeah, we're getting there. Everything is back from polish. As you guys can see, the end tanks on the intercooler look crazy. Uh, and we also got the hood dump out of the way. I'm not going to show you guys the engine bay just yet. I do want that to be a surprise for when the Evo is actually finished. We are still waiting on my gauges to show up. We need bigger injectors because I am trying to push 500 out of this motor. And then uh, the oil reservoir, that's pretty much it. I came in today to, of course, install the coilovers, but as well as check out the hood dump uh, and give Jonathan the okay to go ahead and start welding. So he's gonna weld it up, get the hood dump polished, and then the motor's done. We just gotta hook everything back up and wrap the battery to the back, and we're good to go. Type R is in the air, we are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and take off these wheels first, but uh, to show you guys what we have going on for today, we have the Eibach front and rear sway bars as well as the Fortune Auto 500 series track coilovers. 9K in the front, 8K in the back, I believe. Might be switched. Today we have uh, John helping me out. We are at Entice Motorsports. People are building my Evo. They are an awesome, awesome shop. So if you haven't heard of them, please check them out. I'll leave their Instagram in the description down below as well as on the screen. Hopefully this, this goes pretty smoothly. I've heard nothing but bad things about doing coilovers on this car, but you know, we'll see. John's a wizard. So yeah, we're gonna do it. All right, before I walk you guys step-by-step step through the coilover install, we're gonna do one side each, just so we have a general overview of how to actually get these done. And then once we're going smooth with the install, I'll go ahead and give you guys a step-by-step step so we're not stumbling through this. All right, so this side is completely disassembled. And since we are doing the sway bar, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble both sides so the sway bar can come out. But overall, fairly easy. This was about a 10 minute job to get everything disconnected it out of here. Pretty much just a bunch of 17 millimeter bolts as well as the sensor right here. So pretty easy. Be sure you have some extensions and stuff because there are some bolts in some weird places. So you have bolt number one right here. 17. 17, you have to get the one from back here, 17 as well. And then the sensor. This is a 12 millimeter for the sway bar. And then uh, 12, uh, two 12 millimeters back here as well for the sway bar to release it. the spring out. John literally has all of every tool you can think of, John has, which is really, really cool and it makes it super easy to work on all this stuff. Also, John's been working on Hondas for so long, so he said that this resembles a lot of like the old style Hondas. Uh, the rear is the modern, the modern style. The okay. front is kind of like the uh, 90s generation style yeah. suspension. So once you got the 17 off, this is literally just loose and hanging. Now what we can do is we can go up there, loosen up everything from in the trunk, and rear suspension's out. That was a lot easier than I expected, but I did hear that the front is harder than the rear is. The sway bar is completely removed now. You have these mounts that go on the bushings for the sway bar. You're gonna need to remove these in order to take the sway bar out right here. And so, literally, oh, this is just, yeah, there we go. All right, sway bar, stock. Okay, stock versus aftermarket. Yeah, it's a lot thicker, so that's yes. really what you're buying. All right, so when you get these sway bars, like I showed you guys, they do come with 
uh, hardware, you have a bracket, and you also have a new bushing, obviously, because this sway bar is much bigger, or much thicker, I guess, than the stock one. Also, it gives you these little grease fittings, and what this does is you install it like this up top, you get a grease gun, and you squirt the grease through here, which in return gets the bushings all moist. These are rubber and they will crack over time. So if you don't do that, you have the possibility of these cracking. So be sure to grease these if you're installing these sway bars. Once you do that, you know, install it like normal, just like how you took it out and you'll be good to go. We actually got the rear out just now. These are actually really strange. So instead of being up in the trunk, you actually have to undo all of the liner from inside of here and it's just two 12 millimeter bolts that are holding up the top hat up there. You can see that right there. So what we have to do now is you pull this off, take this whole top assembly out, and then just put it back onto this. You all right? Yeah. Wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, top hat's off. Now where is the other one? You gotta install it onto your new suspension coilover. Shoot. Then you hat on, put the gun. Once the O-ring's on, you need to look for the flat spot where the LM needs to sit. Whenever you're reinstalling these, be sure to set the dampening on both sides the exact same. So for, in my case, this is a 27 way adjustment. So I have it on 14 on both sides. You put this one right back up. Okay, both bolts are in there. And it'll look something like this with more neat. Gonna go ahead and hit it with the gun, make sure everything is tight. All right, coilover is nice and tight. And then for the sway bars, we're doing it on the stiffest setting, which is the lower setting. Okay, pro tip here, be sure to take this rubber piece off of the stock spring because if you forget that, this is just going to make a bunch of clunking noises and that is one of my biggest pet peeves is when cars make sounds. So this rubber piece will help prevent that. I know a lot of people forget that or think that it doesn't go on and most definitely does so be sure to do that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and set the ride height and install the springs on the actual coil over. Okay. Alright, we are getting to the sketchy part now. We have the spring on the lower control arm. Now in order to get this all to sit so we can mount it, Right here, we have to compress. Ooh, we have to compress that spring. This is super sketchy, so be careful doing this. This does suck. We have a casualty here. I'll update you guys when we have everything in place. So the way we're actually able to compress this spring is, of course, we have the lift, and we also have a sky jack, which is actually like really meant for this kind of stuff. So if I was doing this at home, or I don't know. I don't think this would be pretty tough, but thankfully John has all these awesome tools that we're able to to use. Good. Coilover is now officially in. We do need to tighten up the shock. Well, what is it like? Four hours later, one front coilover is installed. This is seriously the biggest pain in the ass for suspension that I have ever, ever had to do. This is crazy, dude. We've come to the conclusion that you yeah, have to take right. off the lower control arm in order to get off the front, uh, the front suspension. So there's just a ton of bolts on like the spindle section that you need to take off. I mean, there's some parts on this car that I, I don't even know what they're called. You know? <laughs> yeah, I will update you guys once we get this side off. So this is already falling out. We're gonna go ahead and take out the lower control arm and we should be able to pull this right out and we'll be good to go. Okay, dude. All right, bring the car down, boss. Well, went a lot quicker than I thought. So we literally dropped the lower control arm and it just came right out. Way easier than the first side. Now all we gotta do is replace it with the four channel coilover. Take these three strut tower bolts out and then we're good to go. All right, let's compare stock to Fortunato. Wow, that's a pretty big difference. We're gonna button everything back up and I'll show you guys once everything is back connected. 2,000 years later. Oh, full two hours later, we had 
a really bad problem with the axle popping out and then the clip that connects the axle That's to the it. transmission came out and that took a whole hour and a half extra that we didn't really need to do anything. But um, we got the coilover in, it's two o'clock in the morning. We're gonna button everything up, lower the car down, make sure um, the car is sitting where I want it. It's, it's so late, it's so late. It is 3.30 in the morning and we are finally done. Huge thank you to John and Richard for helping me out all night. You guys have no idea how big of a pain in the ass this install was, but it was so worth it because the Type R looks unbelievable lowered. It makes it look completely different and looks way, way better. I'll obviously give you guys a better look in the daytime tomorrow, but Type R is slammed and it looks freaking sick. Look at the rear. We're tucking tire in the front and the rear. I lowered the front just a little bit more than the rear because I kind of like that uh, lowered front stance a little bit better, but overall, the car looks awesome. I'm stoked. I owe John and Richard big time for staying this late and helping me out and doing all of this because this was a mission, but very, very successful. I'll update you guys tomorrow during the daytime. I am super tired. If you can't tell by my face, I am extremely tired. It was a super long night last night, but it was 100% worth it. Just made it back to drop off all of my, this is all the suspension that we took off, as well as the, the front sway bar, because in order to install a front sway bar on this car, you have to pretty much drop the whole subframe in the front, and there was no way we were doing that last night along with the coilover, so we only installed the rear sway bar, which feels really good. Overall, the car feels amazing, and I am so happy with how it turned out. Could definitely, a little bit lower but I think this is a perfect height for daily driving tucking tire in the front and the rear I think it looks really freaking good it changes the car when you have it lowered like this and it looks so awesome so I'm a hundred percent stoked this is like every mod I do to the type R makes me fall in love with it more and more this looks incredible I mean I love it it looks so good so I'm really excited to put this thing on the track I mean we have the new rear sway bar as well as the new coilovers this thing should handle extremely extremely well on the track so next up to do on this car we still have to do the downpipe and a tune and get the hon data and stuff so i'm very excited for that but overall this car is coming along freaking amazing and i love it all right i might set this thing up in the middle right here and just set it up for a nice little photo shoot but other than that i'm gonna go and end the video huge thank you to fortune auto for helping me out with these coilovers their customer service is really nice you can tell them what tracks you're going to or what you want to use these coilovers for and like i said previously these these are handmade and built to order specifically to what you guys want. So you can have them customize your coilovers however you want. So make it even stiffer than mine, make it even softer than mine, whatever you guys want. They will make sure that it fits your needs, which is really, really cool. So I'll leave Fortunato's link down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you are as excited for this car as me because this thing is coming out really awesome. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.